Well, on these hot, humid days, we are all looking for places and ways to stay cool. Yeah, but for vendors inside some of those food booths, there is no escaping the heat. And Rachel Slavic spent some time in one of the warmest places on the state fairgrounds, and she joins us now. Hi, Rachel. Hi, guys. Yeah, the last place you want to be on a warm, humid day is by a place that has a lot of ovens and fryers. But for many of the staff, that's how they spend these 12 days at the fair. Temperatures in the 70s don't feel horrible, but add in the heat from six industrial ovens and that's what they're dealing with at the French Meadow Bakery. The work never stops at French Meadow Bakery. No matter the hour, pastry, scones and biscuits always draw a crowd. Uh, this is a croissant. I had it last year for the first time and I really liked it, so I thought I'd come back and get it again. You just never know, but we just have to be ready. Keeping up with the demand is a synchronized blend of prepping and serving, a necessary step when the baking process can take at least a half hour. Here, small batches are the recipe for success. As they know they're going to get it really fresh and hot. Very important because if I'm going to eat something like this, I want it fresh. I don't like store-bought, so it's best of both worlds. <laughs> fresh food means a kitchen where you can't always escape the heat. It's pretty hot back here. The six industrial ovens run nonstop. Fryers keep frying even on the warmest day. Heat lamps throw another few degrees to the rising temperature, and there's no air conditioning to escape the heat. We don't notice it anymore. I'm aware of it when customers come in and are making comments. But we we just we drink lots of water. But you won't hear any complaints. We have a positive attitude, and we just keep going. <laughs> That's all we can do. Hot ovens bring in constant customers at a fair with 450 other food options. And Debbie says that she doesn't keep a thermometer in the kitchen because it's just better if you just don't know. Oh, yeah, I agree with is, that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and they have a very large building. So, in addition to drinking water, they also rotate the staff around from coffee to the okay. sandwich shop and the baker. So, they get a break from that oven heat. Okay. They need it. Yeah, yeah they absolutely. Do. Hot in there. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks, Rachel.